For Voice Your Vote, tonight we're focusing on Maricopa County Attorney. It's an office filled with controversy and the fallout from ABC 15's politically charged investigation. Tonight, Lustelia Caballero sits down with both women vying for the seat, starting with Interim County Attorney Rachel Mitchell. Well, we really hit the ground running when I took over. And Republican candidate and appointed county attorney Rachel Mitchell says there's still more to be done. We knew there had to be some really quick transitions, um, not the least of which was getting more people in the door. Adding this effort has already helped drop the backlog of officer involved shootings that need to be investigated. I believe when I took over, I had a, there was a backlog of about 59 cases and even with cases being added in the five months that I've been there, we're down to I think about 34. Though she acknowledges there are still other criminal cases that need to be addressed. Mitchell also says it's vital the office no longer overcharges defendants like what happened in 2020 when MCAO slapped fake gang charges on police protesters. I was asked to take a look at the August 9th, specifically 2020 uh, protest that was outside of the police headquarters at 620. And what I found was um, overcharging and I put a PowerPoint together and presented it to executive leadership and said, this is overcharged. Th these charges should be dropped. The lead prosecutor on the protest cases has since been fired after ABC 15 brought this to light in our politically charged series. I have terminated the prosecutor that was responsible for some of that and uh, I, I don't want that to happen again. Mitchell is a former sex crimes prosecutor who's faced many questions on how she'll handle cases under the state's new abortion law. I will not prosecute women for getting an abortion and the law does actually not allow that. We also asked if she would prosecute abortion providers. If I get a case, I will review it in terms of a reasonable likelihood of conviction. And part of that definition is, you know, whether I can get a, a jury to unanimously agree on something. So obviously I have to look at public perception, public desires about the law. So I would do that. As the leader of one of the largest prosecutorial agencies in the country, Mitchell says she's communicating this vision to her staff. We're here to do justice, and that means being forthright, being um, straightforward, and being fair. Lustelia Caballero, ABC 15, Arizona.